Hello, my warriors. How is it going? Welcome to another episode of Battletech Urban Warfare. I think it is time to actually ally with a faction because when we go to the captain quarters and see our reputation, you can see that the Mariks really, really, really like us. And to ally with a faction means the following. When you choose to ally with a faction, you will gain access to that faction's unique quartermaster store with rare equipment, mechs and weapons. You'll also unlock special, difficult, faction-only missions with rare rewards. When you become allied, your reputation with the faction can no longer fall be below zero. You will no longer be able to take missions that directly target your ally. However, you also become enemies with all the faction enemies, which are uh, yeah, Liao, Steiner and uh, the pirates, which is fine for me. Um, when you become an enemy, your reputation with the faction is lower to zero and it can never rise above zero. You can choose to break the alliance, but this will drastically reduce your reputation with the former ally and will prevent you from becoming allied with that faction again for one game year. So we're gonna do that. And that means that we are uh, not in good standing with the Luren Commonwealth anymore, as well as the Capellan Confederation, which we, you know, we were enemies before. And then the pirates, who cares? Now, we're gonna go ahead and um, Let's take a look at the good old Marek space. I want to see... Give me a second. We're going to go to four and a half scale, obviously. Four and a half, not five. All right. What's that, by the way? Succession, flashpoint. Ooh. I think I have never played that. The red hair irregulars. Ah, we had to drop light there. I don't want to do that right now. I want to go to the faction store. You know what? We're going to drive down there. It's 33 days of travel time. And... Uh, give me a second before we do that. We need to sell some arts or mechs so that we have enough money for the financial report. That's exactly what we're gonna do now. I think we have two Zeus's that we're sitting here. Yeah, so we're gonna get rid of one of them. And we have a good amount of AC-20s that we can sell. Let's get rid of all of them. What else is there? Bunch of LRM-10s. I'm never gonna use them anymore. Alright. 15s that we were salvaging all the time. Nine of them. All right. Okay, and that should be in. Uh, it should be almost enough. See the medium lasers. We will never use regular medium lasers anymore. We will never use oh, this one medium pulse laser. I'm still very unhappy that we got this thing. See PPCs. We have so many plus weapons in that um, weapon category here. Don't need them anymore. Uh, sixes and fours and SRMs. No, not really. But I think we have enough right now, so let's go to the star map, travel to the next planet, and I want to see if we can actually find those very special and difficult things. Sounds it's gonna cost us now, one financial report, but I think it's gonna be worth doing that. Also, it enables us to spend some more time in space to get the next Argo upgrades done. And I want the full Argo when, um, you know, when we end this playthrough. Luckily, we didn't get any headshots anymore lately. So we were extremely, extremely lucky in that regard. So we didn't really necessarily need the med base. And that's the thing that I always, 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 um, you know, upgrade last, the med base. Because it is something that you build to prevent the rare occasion of, um, you know, getting injuries. You're not really preventing it, but you mitigate that. So for that reason, it is not directly affecting our... Um, our game performance. It's just right, something like like an insurance. You really hope that you never use it, but you're gonna pay for it anyway, right? And therefore, this is my super last priority. It's just because it's a video game. I mean, I have my insurances in real life, but uh, you get the point, right? So it really doesn't help us um, growing and, and, and just making the steps forward. It doesn't help you with morale or repairing a max faster so that the financial report is not killing you. And uh, therefore, it's usually my last priority when it comes to Battletech here. But yeah. Uh, we're gonna erase the recording that gives us more morale. That's really good. Pretty damn good. And 17 days until we arrive at the planet. It might be that we have the Argo all upgraded completely when we arrive there. Or almost. And that would be cool. That's another check mark on our, um, on our playthrough here, on our to-do list. Getting the Argo upgraded to full. And at that point, I don't need to bother with any uh, any money savings for the Argo anymore. Everything beyond that can be put into financial reports or direct mech upgrades by selling and buying stuff in shops. It's gonna be good. That means that we don't need to focus on uh, 
uh, the missions entirely. Get things done. Get new upgrades to get better stuff. Come on, come on, come on. I also wonder what specialty you can get here in the stores. I heard from some of you that the Liaos give you access to an ECM. And that, of course, would be amazing. But you have to ally with hey, them. Alright, money is still there. It's 2.25 million. That's a bit drastic, I would say. Uh, let's uh, sell some mech parts. I want to get it anyway. I'll not sell them, but scrap them. Kintaro part here. Uh, Wolverine there. Yeah, there are some medium mechs that I don't intend to pick up anymore. So... Let's just sell the parts. And see what we can do. We have... 7 days of travel time, 15 days for the report. That's good. Means that we can potentially... Just sell to 2.25 million and then just go in and... Uh, keep playing, keep keep traveling. Let's do it like that. Okay, that should be enough. All right. Next upgrade: 2.25 million. Cow. The next one is another 2.7. All right. I'll take it. So now we are in the red numbers, but we're gonna play a mission after this, and that should be fine again. Um, in total, in general, I really want to try to sell full max instead of scrapping. Uh, anything here, so let's try to uh, just grind a little bit more. Let's play the missions and then see if we can pick up stuff. No faction store here. Oh, I thought this is how it would work. Having a faction store on every on every planet that is in the faction. Maybe we have to take a look around a bit more. Okay, there's nothing I really want here. Now, since we are here already, it might be a good idea to just play a mission or two. Maybe we have some special contracts. How do I find them? I mean, I'm allied with the Mareks now. Let's see. Nine days and 700,000. See, I'm not bankrupt. I'm, I'm far away from it because we have so many, so many um, uh, mechs in our storage that we can just use. Let's play the assassination mission. Okay, that's gonna be the first one here. We're gonna play that. Maximum salvage as per usual. And we're gonna drop with our good old Alpha lands. It doesn't seem that this is one of the challenge missions that they were talking about. So how do I detect them? How do I find them? Is there any special flashpoint that is popping up for an allied faction? Is that what they mean? I don't know yet. We're gonna figure that out. So, destroy the target and escape. This should be a 100 ton mech that we can find and... I don't know if I would take another atlas just for the memes, you know? Just of having four atlases on the battlefield. I think my King Crab performs quite well at the moment with the triple LRM and, of course, the medium laser barrage that is on top of that. So, not entirely sure if I'm offered an atlas, if I'd just sell it afterwards. I don't know. Let me know what you think down below in the comments, guys. Should I take it? I mean, it doesn't have an impact on this mission, but if I see the next one, then uh, I might pick it up just uh, to please you guys. Alrighty. Command interface initiated. Bam, bam, bam. The drop pods coming down. I like that we are playing in an urban environment again. All right. I mean, that's what urban Keep warfare is all open. about, right? Your oh, let's sprint in. Oh, we have enemy contact right away. Where are they? Give me one moment. Ah, there we see it. It's an 80 ton vehicle, so... Probably Shrek or Demolisher. If I were planning an ambush, this is where Be careful, Commander. Looks like a great place for an ambush. You don't say, Darius. You don't say. Uh, we also have a generator here. I cannot target it right now, but, you know, that's just an area of effect thing that you can trigger. That, um... What does it do, actually? I think it erupts um, like an electro electrostatic discharge and damages the enemies around as well as giving them giving them a, a, a uh, sensor impairment. Alright. Sensor locking the vehicle. Got a lock. Demolisher. Okay, come at me, bro. We have some LRMs. That are designated over to you, Tar, to your position. 
It also seems that we have a sound bug. Kind of, yeah. Waiting on you, Commander. Soda, going into cover. I like that we have forests here. Those little parks providing cover. I think that is a very good design choice. I love it. Bye bye. Cool. Demolisher down. First target off the board. Gonna move and brace, keeping the mechs together. Very important here. The leader is here. It's the first lance. And it's the second lance. Yeah, we're gonna just destroy the first lance and then pushing directly to the leader. Ooh, 85 tons. No, 65 tons. Never mind. I'm receiving you. Just 65. On my way. Hello, Mr. Demolisher. Ooh, okay, that's not so great. Confirm. I can only engage him with a single LRM-20, which is obviously not enough to kill. Maybe. Commander? I honestly want Soda Pop. You. Maybe Soda can follow up on the damage that we've dealt already. Got it. Is that gonna be enough? I doubt it, but hey, a man can dream. It was enough! Oh yeah. You like I that? didn't want Razor there because Razor had the angle on the 65 ton mech. And for that reason, I want her to make a nice cold shot to his cockpit. Let's go. It's a Thunderbolt. Go for his head. All weapons committed. Not lucky this time. But it's a good amount of damage already. Wait and on top of that, we established line of sight yeah. so we can follow up with 30 lerms Take to his mech. Cool. Next round. I think I have to take a look around for specific flashpoints here. Or some flashpoints that I've never seen before. Headshot again. All weapons committed. Sadly, not quite enough. Ow. Early damage. I'm gonna shrug that off. You really think that you can hurt me with that? Yes, Commander. Feel the power of the AC-20. That's what I'm talking about. Cool. The Cobra strike. Uh, also, we have another demolisher there. Uh-oh. Speaking of AC-20s, it's not doing anything. Commander? I think I just got really lucky. Like, really lucky. Alright, uh, multi-target here. Ten four. LRMs to the Demolisher. He sees. To the Thunderbolt. I was really hoping to get the kill, but he's down to one HP. A single, a singular one you? HP. That is crazy. Uh, anyway, we're gonna multi-target again. I'm shooting an LRM to the backliner. Getting some more pinpoint damage on the tank. The medium lasers dealing 35 each. That's quite a lot. That's a double kill for Soda Pop. Perfect. One lands down. Let's see where the other guys are. They're still all the way in the back. That means that we should probably get uh, out of combat again. And uh, can sprint, hopefully. Let's see. One turn for free, please. Yes. Perfect. There. Alrighty. Wonder what the big guy is. Ooh, where? Oh, all the way on the flank. It's a 55 ton mech trying to backstab us. And there's also one guy on the building, which is a bad choice, man. And the uh, insurgent leader is actually an 80 tonner. Come at me, bros. Let's come over here. That is not the best idea. <laughs> I mean, yeah, the cutter pulled out a good amount of damage to my max, but really? Getting on this building? I don't know, man. Just don't know. Where's Varangian? Come, buddy. Stay clear of this uh, generator. Yeah, I have a battle plan. All right, we're gonna multi-target here. Shooting an LRM to the building. Can I? 
I think I... Yeah, the building is the second target. Um, that means that I can shoot some serious damage against the catapult, as well as knocking him over afterwards. Acknowledged. Hello. And... Then that. I'm doing it in this... Um, in this order specifically, because afterwards, after the building is destroyed, the enemy has cover because of the rubble. That means uh, he's taking less damage if he falls down first and uh, is getting shot afterwards. 25% damage reduction here. Or 20. 20%. Yeah. And I don't want that, of course. Uh, let's go for the headshot. Gonna be a knockdown anyway afterwards, so let's go for that. See, we have enough resolve, so might as well use it. Down goes the catapult. I hear you. And we just move in and try to kill. Firing everything I, I also want to try to preserve the parts if possible. I mean, <clears throat> not like that, but maybe the dream was real to that? shoot two mediums to the head and then nothing else anymore. Um, but yeah, it's fine. Let's sprint. Fastest that. atlas in the world. There's another guy. Oh my god. All the jumping here. And here's the fun thing. The buildings, they are catching straight shots. And that is really cool when you think about that. So, the city deforms itself while you are fighting in it. Providing direct cover, as in... Ow. Um, you know, blocking line of sight to indirect cover, as in standing in the rubble. That is pretty cool. We have to get rid of the Victor, and we have to get rid of him right now. Hmm. Let's back up a bit. Alright, here's the precision strike to the face. Ah, that's a good amount of damage already. And I think I want to follow up with somebody else here. Yeah. Another 80 toner coming in. Waiting on you, Commander. Let's actually use Soda because the damage that we need is minimal. And he has all the means to do it. You Just a you. lot of individual chances to get where we want to be. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. Perfect. Alright, Victor down. That's an AC-20 off the board. Yeah. Ready to go. Over here. More headshots. All weapons are go. Poor little Griffin. He won't realize what hit him. <laughs> Waiting for orders. It's so good. Yes, I could have destroyed the building underneath the Shadowhawk, but I want the Griffin off the board. Oh, okay, sadly. We didn't get the side torso, but he's now turn one thanks to the knockdown after the precision strike. Means that we have the edge over him next round. Yep, that is solid damage, and we are actually quite critical on the side. I mean, not critical, critical yet, but we have five armor on our Gauss rifle side torso. Just not that much. Probably move around a bit more. Okay, down goes to Griffin. Perfect. What Griffin is that? I couldn't see anymore. Ow! Armor breach. That was nasty. Damage. All of a sudden. Surprise awesome. Come I mean, there? that's not good. Absolutely not. Target. Got the Shadowhawk too! Oh. Love it. Alright, 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 alright. Okay, so we're gonna take Soda. Soda is sadly not able to shoot his medium lasers in that position, but we can deal a lot of damage to him. As well as a good amount of stability damage. Hell yeah. And now Varangian. Varangian obviously trying to headshot him again. With the AC-20. Let's do it. All right, we have the knockdown, Scored a critical hit. and it's good. Pow to the ground! 
Also, one of his PPC is crit. That's good. So his aim will be a bit off. Thanks to the critical damage, thanks to the knockdown. He's also just running away. Hey! Ready for order. Stop it! Stop running! Dude! Seriously. He's gonna sprint in. Ta da! Uh, now jump jets would be Can super handy. And hey, we also have LRMs. Let's use them. EPC destroyed. That hit something good. It's one less gun on the board. Winning on you, and we're gonna use soda. Get some more damage on him. Got it. When I say some, I mean a, a lot. There's more cool, double PPC from. down. Uh, you can't do anything, and you shouldn't do anything, honestly. Let's brace here. So, she's the one with the very damaged side torso, that's why I wanted to pull her back. Alright. One thing that I want to show you. Orders. Electrical transformer. Explosion warning. Let's go. Locked on target. And that's what I mean. Better not stand in that sh in that hazard when that uh, generator goes off. The awesome was actually caught in it. Mission successful. Yeah, we got it. I really do like the urban environment. That's a lot of fun to play in. So, first mission of the day done. Um, I think I'm gonna pick up the Victor for the collection as well as um, weapon systems that are offered. I think I'm not going for the awesome. Unless I have a bunch of parts already. So, Griffin. I mean, we have that. But the Victor... Oh, we only need one Victor part. That's great. Hmm. What else from here? And damage 10 stability damage. Just 20 damage. <laughs> That's a lot of damage, but do you need it? I don't know. On an AC-20, it deals so much damage already. More damage laser. Also good. See, at this point, I think I'm just gonna go for score. Why not? Let's pick up the uh, Shadowhawk, Thunderbolts. I don't know. It would be great if the, um, the game would show you how many you have already. Um, Griffin, Shadowhawk. I can't just gamble to get one of those. I'm taking the Griffin here. Alright. Two Griffin parts, one Shadowhawk part, one Catapult part. We got the awesome, the Victor to finish it, and a targeting system. No special weapons though. 25 million Seabills of value anyway. That's good. So, let's see. We need to find the special missions. That's important. And the faction market. Where do I get it? I don't know. I've never allied with a faction in Vanilla Battletech before. Ever. Ever, ever. So maybe some of you who already did that might help me out. So if you know what to do, guys, let me know. Maybe we can figure it out by just uh, taking a look at the star map. Alright. So here's the mech bay. Let's repair our atlas. And put the victor down to storage. Okay. Yes. Here we go. Our score is getting quite high. Ah, oh, wait. It seems that we had a victor already, because last time I checked it was already at uh, 244,000. So can we sell it? Let me check real quick. Also, we have the Gryphon already, the Highlander is there, Cyclops is there. It's quite a mech collection that we have. No. It's the victor. Just added to our mech bay. Okay, in that case, I'm, I'm happy to have it. Anyway, we need money, still. So, the next thing that we're gonna do is taking a look at the store. Come on. Oh, we are in the store already. <laughs> of course. Uh, selling some more stuff here. 71,000. More and more and more. Inflamers. Ah, come on, let's go and get rid of them. They are not giving us so much money, but I just wanna make sure that we have just enough money for the next financial report. Um, everything else... Uh, it's gonna be, you know, we're gonna get some more money from the mission that we're gonna play here. But yeah, five medium laser to triple plus is crazy. 
machine guns. Yeah, goodbye machine guns. We are beyond that point. One more PPC. 18,000. Solid. And here we go. 13 SRM2s. 9 SRM4s. That should give us enough money to sustain ourselves for a while now. The SRM6s specifically. I like that we have so many double pluses here. But yeah, that's enough. That's already very much enough. I think we can also get rid of this gyro. Not not gonna use that ever anymore. Okay, leg mods. No. Anything that is really expensive. Targeting system ballistic. Well, we're gonna sell those too. Okay, and at that point, we are perfectly fine. Now, let's take a look at the star map. I just want to see if there's any indication uh, on where to go. I mean... Oh, here we go. That seems interesting. Vega Horn. That thing has the Marek symbol. Means that there's probably the faction store available down there. I really want to go there. Only three skull, though. Um... Let's do it anyway. Let's try to find it out. Roger yeah, that. figure it out right now. Gonna traveling a bit. I up that job All work complete. 13 days for the Argo upgrade med bay number 3. The next one is 2.7 million sea bills. Poker night. Oh, do we get morale? Eh, but one tag point. Okay. Sometimes you get morale out of those. That's pretty good. Alrighty, 10 days to travel. Ready to go over financials whenever you I just want to check what we get here. And I really wonder if that's a special mission available at that point, or if it's quote-unquote just a faction store. Let's see. And do we play another three skull? I mean, we could just start picking up more medium max at that point. Out of cash. And going for the score? I mean, why not? Why the hell not? I think in the end it all comes down on how many missions you have played and how many CBLC you have acquired throughout the gameplay here. Throughout the, the whole uh, thing. I think you can really optimize the playthrough in order to play as many missions as possible on each planet. Uh, and not just doing things that I'm doing, just wandering around the, the star map randomly. To just see and find new stuff. Okay. There we go. Take a look at the store. Is that what we get here? Oh, yep. We can access the faction store. And we get... The Black Knight 6. Uh... No. Centurion AL. No, thank you. Shadowhawk 2H, Thunderbolt, 5S. It's nothing really special. I mean, the AL. Yeah. But that thing? Not really. What did we get? It's an AC-20, double plus. For a mere 180,000, that's pretty good. Flamer, double plus. Uh-huh, with more heat damage. And damage laser. And damage small laser. Bunch of bots and then SRMs. And that's not really a thing that we want to do here, but let's take a look at the contracts. Maybe there's something that we can do. I want challenge contracts, and we don't get them. So... In order to to get something done anyway here, we're gonna play the bay the battle mission. It is three and a half skull, and we are still missing some heavy mechs in our collection, so let's go ahead and do it. Go ahead and deploy. Should be a walk in the park anyway. Unless, and here's the thing, unless they bring eight mechs at the same time. So if they bring their main lance as well as their reinforcements, and all of them are heavy mechs, they have a lot of firepower, nonetheless, and if they focus fire on a single of my mechs, it could still be a bit of a problem. But yeah, let's see. It's pirates. It should be fine. Which mechs do I need to pick up? I think Arapults. I don't have them in storage. I should probably make a list at some point. Uh, a manual list, as in writing down with a pen. And then uh, check those and, and see if I if I have this mech already or if I need it. I'm going. Hello enemies, I'm here. I'm here to destroy you. you Trying to push to the right side. I'm there. Into this forest. Did I bring a Highlander? That's cheating. What? 
Okay. Funny thing about this here, the Highlander... I'm barely scratched. E. Uh, sorry, the, the P I have a bunch of, but the Highlander 733 regular, I don't have yet. And that's quite interesting. You can actually pick him up. And the 95 ton mech in the outskirts. That's quite, quite scary. Razor, would you please do me the favor of killing this guy before he kills us? Thank you. Good start. Not enough, though. Yeah, we're gonna eat that AC-10. And the missiles afterwards. Wow, they bring so much firepower. Alright, we still have um, a lot of other people that can, can follow up you? on what we did already. Maybe we're getting lucky. Getting another headshot here. Okay, not quite. Not quite. Um, you know what, in that case, I'm really thinking about just shooting one of those with my AC-20. See, I want the full mech, that's the thing. Let's go for the Orion, he has a lot of firepower. Alright. Great, that's one AC-10 off the board as well as a medium laser. That's good. Alright, and we are inspired already. Uh-huh. We draw. Don't go for my atlas. I mean, this dude, or Dudes, actually, it's it's Razor herself, is um, quite low on armor on the center. And the enemy is actually taking it, so thank you for not shooting my uh, Razor again. Instead, the Atlas D, which is piloted by Varangian. By the way, Banshee 3S, scary, I tell you. 3S is actually quite scary. Waiting on you, Commander. Okay. So Soda can get into cover. Do a precision strike against his head. Oh, we didn't get it, sadly. Yeah. Okay. Hit. He has another chance to hit me. Funnily enough, we didn't find that many large lasers with attributes, with plus or anything on it. It's quite interesting. Oh. Also, we need to go to cover here, it's important. And the Gauss Rifles. Yeah, the Gauss Rifles are going for the Orion here. All weapons committed. For damage, it's good. We can also knock him down now. How do we play this? How do we play this? I know how. See, we need more precision to actually get the Highlander parts. Um, I'll do it like that. Knocking down the Orion. Uh, destroying his side torso. A second. Oh yeah, okay, that's perfect. And we got some damage on the quick draw already. Which means if we engage from the side here, we should be able to rip off his side torso completely. So let's do that. Acknowledge. Okay, sadly not a kill, but we got him crippled. Not good. My arm. Not good at all. Okay, yeah, this Orion can do nothing except for melee, obviously. I really hope that we do not lose my... Large laser double plus here. Ooh, how nice of you. Give me another chance. That is that is super duper nice. I don't know what to do here though, so we have too many options. Mm, it's probably a good idea to engage the Highlander from the side while attempting another... Give me a second. Cool event. Attempting another headshot. Because this side is pretty strong still, but how much damage do we actually deal here? Aha. Reporting yeah, that's unfortunate. Hit. Don't hit me in melee. God damn it. Ah. So we actually provoked him to go for a melee attack because we stripped him off of his weapons completely. 
Alright, alright, alright. So, there's that. Uh, anyway, let's, um... If we don't get the Highlander, then we're gonna try to get the Banshee. Mm-hmm. Not like that. I hear ya. Uh, soda. That's a problem. Just a minor one. Okay. On my way. Here we go. Soda is gonna be the killer in this uh, scenario. Uh, trying to get the Highlander off the board. Thank you. And trying to get the Orion off the board. Quite. <laughs> one hit. Really. I, live to I hate when that happens. Uh, anyway. I'm walking here. Do it like that. Going for the headshots here. It's obvious, Firing right? And we got him. Alright. So we have our pickup. We have our Mac of Desire. Question is, what's the Orion gonna do against us? He's also in melee range and he has respectable melee damage. I think it is 90 or something. A 95. Wow. Ouchie. Stop it. Armor low. Okay, it's pretty easy what to do here. Trying to destroy the quick draw with the weapons fire and then Order. the same basically against the Orion. Okay. Onward. Let's just go. Punching all the buttons. That'll do. One less and target. do we need Orions? I what don't know. I, do I cannot you? tell you. I have no idea. Cool advance. You know what? We're gonna make a melee attack too. I just wanna go out with style here. Pick up! Alright! You got it! Mission. We lost the laser! Sadly. <laughs> this laser was actually quite nice to have. Man, I have to replace it with a standard laser now. But okay. I think this laser that we had was... Accuracy. Pretty much. Yep. Let me see. Oh, plus 5 damage, plus 1 accuracy. Uh, the damage would be nice, but hey, let's see. We'll take the Banshee 3S, we'll take the Highlander. We'll take the Quick Draw to sell it, probably. We need some money for the upgrade of the Argo. And none of the components that we can find here. So, gonna be the Orion. Ah, all the mech parts are belong to us. Uh, except for one Banshee part. Okay. And, yeah, just jump some generic stuff here. Alright! We have a Banshee now. The 3S is actually pretty interesting because it has a variety of uh, hard points. It's uh, one Ballistic, one Missile and a bunch of energy hard points. So, it is a respectable Assault Mech and you can do a lot of different builds with it. Bells Rifle, LR LRMs, Medium Lasers. That's actually pretty damn good. Also, I don't know how much pot space it has, as in how much weight you can actually put into the mech. Uh, because I don't know if it is upgraded with endosteel or barrel fibrous. Wow, that's a lot of different mechs here. Let's take a look. Alright, here we go. We have to refit the Atlas, sadly. And then we're gonna sketch out the Banshee. Wanna see what we can do with it. Large laser. Yep, we just have a regular one here. I mean, PPCs would also be an option, but I think then the mech would be too hot. Ish. Ish. Dropping two of those. That's a lot of heat. No, I don't like it. I like the laser build more here. Alright. 100,000 and three days. That's okay. And as I was saying, I just want to see what we can potentially do with this Banshee, because I've never seen that before, and we're just gonna take a look. So in terms of armor, it is rather low armor. But yeah, here's what I'd do. Let's say we put an AC-10 on this thing, and then just a lot of medium lasers. How many can we put into this? Five here. One there. All right. That is decent. Oh, well, let's take ammo. Something like that, okay. And the rest of the mech is just heat management. Thanks. 
Uh, sorry, heat sinks and a lot of them. This looks viable. Looks very viable, guys. I mean, look at that. We are not even close to maximum... Yeah, maximum tonnage here. So we can actually put another LRM uh, 15 onto this mech. Holy cow! What is that? Really? That is possible on the Banshee? It's pretty damn good! Look at that! I think I would play it li like this. Or maybe dropping another heat sink. I mean, look, this is still good! 84 to 98! We have six mediums! We have an AC-10 and an LRM-15. That is, um, it is insane! Uh, and then you put a gyro in there and uh, a cockpit mod. And then you upgrade the armor on the sides to like... 185, 180... Something like that. I mean, the lag armor is a little low on this. Yeah, granted. So, maybe dropping another one of those heat sinks. Then upgrade the lag armor to like 160. Minimum. 70. Okay. Getting some more back armor here. And probably dropping a bit of back armor here. 65 in the back all around. So we have 185 on the side torsos, 200 on the center, 105 on the arms, which is also not that great, but it is kind of manageable, I would say. Uh, you can probably drop maybe even one more heat sink. But that would be on the edge then already. But yeah, that could be a Banshee build. I like it. So the Banshee 3S is pretty good. Also, it has the benefit of having a good punch. So if you really wanted, you could make it a melee mech. Yeah, the movement is not the best. It's rather slow. And, I mean, it comes with the drawback of being very slow, comparatively. Um, but it can load a lot of weapon systems, and that's pretty cool. I think the biggest struggle would be getting into medium laser range. But hey, you have the AC-10, you have the LRM-15 uh, that you can shoot early on. And then weddle to the front line until you reach the medium laser range. Alrighty, guys. I'm not gonna build that. I'm gonna put the Banshee back to storage because I don't need it. Also, Highlander 733 is there now. Perfect. And that brings our score to 251,000. The rank is regular. Uh, we can do better than that. We also need more review board. Anyway, guys, that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, then don't forget to leave a rating. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Support me on Patreon if you like. The link is down below in the description. And I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.